morning to all of you my students. So as you can see that I am here again to explain about the last concept of your chapter that is salts. In my last class I gave you an introduction about salts, a definition, also we have seen what kind of compounds they are and we have seen also the classification of salts, right. Today we will be discussing about one such salt, okay, an example that is nothing but sodium chloride. It's also called as commonly common salt or table salt. So today we are going to discuss about how it is formed, from where can we get it and also what are the various chemicals that you can get from sodium chloride. Okay? So let's begin with the production of sodium chloride. How do we get salt? So as you all know that sea water is the biggest source of sodium chloride. So how, how do they produce sodium chloride from seawater? It is by the process of evaporation. We all know that the seawater is collected in shallow pools or pits and then they are, it is allowed to just you know, evaporate under the, in the sun's heat. And then what is left is nothing but salt but that is an impure form of salt which is again purified by various uh, processes. That is one way how we can get sodium chloride. The other one is by rock salt. Rock salts are nothing but the crystalline deposits that are found underground. Okay. These are actually formed uh, when the ancient seas, they dried up and they formed into rock salt which is nothing but a mineral which is rich in what you call sodium chloride. Okay. So one more way, how, it is, how is it produced in laboratory? We all know that the very famous neutralization reaction is there, isn't it? So it's a neutral salt. So how is it produced? By mixing to a very strong acid and, str and a strong base uh, which results in the formation of sodium chloride, right? So we have seen that in the neutralization reactions, right? So in that way sodium chloride is produced. It's got wide range of applications, children at industry level or even it is used as a preservative. It's a raw material for uh, pro manufacturing or uh, pro producing many chemicals. So we can see today one such chemical which can be produced from NaCl which is nothing but sodium hydroxide. Sodium hydroxide is also called as caustic soda. Okay, what is the common name of uh, sodium hydroxide? It's, it's also called as caustic soda. Okay. So this caustic soda is produced from a process, the name of the process is called chloralkali process children. So it is mainly produced by passing electricity through brine. Now what is brine? Brine is nothing but it is the concentrated, it is the concentrated solution, aqueous solution of sodium chloride. What do you mean by aqueous solution? Nothing but the sodium chloride is dissolved in water here. The solvent is water here. So it is highly concentrated solution of sodium chloride that we take and we subject it to electricity. So what happens then? So it results in electrolysis, right? So the sodium chloride compound is broken down by the way of electricity and thus it produces many things, you know, many products as you can see over here. We know that the positively charged electrode Okay, the positively charged electrode is nothing but the anode and the negatively charged electrode is also called as cathode, right? So at the cathode, you will see hydrogen gas released out after the electrolysis of brine. What do we get at cathode? We get hydrogen gas released at the cathode and at anode, we get chlorine gas released, okay? Because chlorine Cl minus, they are anions, no? They move towards anode, H plus cations they move towards cathode so at anode chlorine gas is collected and at cathode hydrogen gas is collected and in the solution what we get is nothing but NaOH sodium hydroxide actually sodium actually sodium ions Na plus isn't it so they are cations they move towards cathode but as soon as the sodium metal is deposited on the cathode it reacts with height with the water present here aqueous solution I said no so they react with the water and form sodium hydroxide why do you think it happens yes because sodium is a very very reactive metal so as soon as sodium goes to the cathode it reacts with the it reacts with the water present near the cathode and forms sodium hydroxide and it is retained in the solution did you get that children 
So this process is called as chloralkali process because so very useful components are, pro, are formed here. Chlorine gas is formed and a very what is this sodium hydroxide? Is it an acid or a base? It's a very strong base. A very strong alkali is produced in this reaction and that's the reason why it's called as chloralkali process. So I want you all now to find out the various uses of sodium hydroxide. Okay children, just make a note of this process and I have some main points. Please write down in your rough notes and also note down the important uses of sodium hydroxide. In my next class, I will be going to, I will be explaining about the formation of sodium carbonate and sodium hydrogen carbonate. These, these two also are formed from NaCl only, sodium chloride only. So wait till my next video and let's, let's find out these, you know, uses of sodium hydroxide till then. Okay, thank you.